All right, everybody, as promised from last weekend, it is now this weekend, and I'm going to do the weight and balance on the Cessna 172. It's about eight o'clock at night. It's nice and cool, and by nice and cool, I mean it's in the 90s, and the sun is not blaring on me. So first things first, I'm gonna get this thing on the scales. I'm gonna show you how to level it. I'll get all the weights um, and everything on it. I've already got the oil in it. I know the fuel tanks are completely empty, which is kind of nice because I can add the fuel uh, mathematically that way. The other way to do it would be to fill the tanks all the way up, and I don't feel like doing that. So stick around, and as always, I'm gonna get into it. Okay, so I didn't wanna waste y'all's time just watching me set up scales. So I just went ahead and set up the scales, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I have a red, a blue, and a yellow scale that are gonna tie in this box over here and some ramps. You'll notice I have some chalks up on that nose scale. That's so that the airplane doesn't accidentally roll off, obviously, um, and that would be tear weight, but I don't actually have to worry about it yet because this is our computer box. And what's really nice about this one is it allows us to read each of the scales. So this is the red scale or my right main, the blue scale, which is my nose wheel, and the yellow scale, which is gonna be my left main. So if I press one and select, it reads zero. Two and select, it reads zero. Three and select, it reads zero. So right, let me get that set up so that the airplane can be pushed onto the scales. Um, I've already got everything out of the aircraft. The paper's not gonna make that big of a deal, but I've got everything out of the aircraft that's tools, everything out of the aircraft that is not important. So without any further ado, let's get this thing up on the scales. Okay, aircraft is on the scales, so now I need to level it. Well, fortunately for us on a 172, the leveling means is this door sill right here. So if you actually look at that, you can see the nose needs to come down just a hair. And I'm gonna do that by letting out a little bit of air since the nose strut is already flat. Once I get it level, all I gotta do is read the weights. I already know the arms of the wheels. I will tell you those in just a second, and then I will take it off the scales and do all the paperwork. But I can do all the paperwork at home tomorrow in the air conditioning. Sometimes it's beneficial to leave your nails just a little long. One, two. That should have done it, let's see. Oh yeah. I would say that is it. I really hope that camera's focused. So I just filmed this whole thing doing it and it was like 656 pounds total. And I thought there's no way a 172 is 656 when a 150 is like 1200 pounds. So I looked at the machine and I forgot that this scale reads in T and crumpets and not bald eagles. So I changed it to pounds and not kilograms, and we're gonna do this again the right way. I'm gonna edit out the first part. Y'all won't see me doing it that way. So the right main, we have 494. Again, there's no gas in it. 494 on the right main, two select. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking around a lot. 456 on the nose. Then three, select 504 on the left main. That is the most annoying bird I've ever ha heard. And then the nose is a total of 1,444 bald eagles and burnouts. You like my pin? Okay, I'm gonna get it off the scales. I will get all the scales rolled back up and we are going to go put this back on the ramp for now and then head home, clean up everything and head home. And for all of those of you who do actually ask, I do get these things calibrated. As you can see, it was done 10, 18, 22 and these are good for a year. So it's still got a few months to go yet. Let me know if you need a weight and balance done Hello from the middle of the video I wanted to stop and take a second to tell you that this video has been sponsored by 
well me. I want to thank everybody that participated in the 1000 subscriber giveaway. I'm very, very grateful to all of you. I do plan on doing more of those in the future, but I wanted to do a little shameless plug here, ask you to like, ask you to subscribe, all that. But to remind you that I do have a merchandise line out on Teespring, there's a couple things over there for you to buy if there's something you want to help support the channel. I've also gone live with memberships as well as super chats for live streams and things like that. Still planning on doing a live stream at some point in the future, but those can be kind of uh, tedious with my hectic schedule. Anyways, I'll get back to it. Okay, that is gonna do it at the airport. All I gotta do is put some air in that nose tire. I gotta go over to the hangar and get the air chuck for that, but that is going to do it at the airport. The wait part of it is done, so I will see you tomorrow at the house when I actually do the paperwork portion, and I'm gonna go through all of that and show you how you do the math for this. Okay, so as promised, I am back at the house and I wanted to go ahead and do the weight and balance calculation. I'm just gonna do it on paper. I'll put it on an official weight and balance form when I do all the records for the aircraft, but I wanna show you how to do the calculations. So these were my scale readings from yesterday. I had 494 pounds on the right, 504 on the left, and then 456 on the nose. Now I have F and six here. So this is fuel and this is unusable fuel being added. So this is positive six gallons or positive six pounds. So the 172H, according to the POH, has a half gallon of unusable fuel in each tank. That's a gallon total, six pounds per gallon, six pounds. So now the calculations are pretty easy. You multiply across and then you add down, add down and divide across. So I'll show you that. So the right main is 494 times 58 and that gets me 20, 8,652 uh, inch pounds. So this is a, a moment expressed in inch pounds. This is 58 inches, 494 pounds. So it's 28,652 inch pounds as my moment. So the left main is 504 times 58, and that gets me 29,232 inch pounds. Now here's where it gets really important. 456 times negative seven. Oh, I did that backwards. Times times negative seven. Yeah, it doesn't want me to do it. I'll just make it negative times seven. Okay, so this is negative seven because the nose wheel is in front of the datum. The datum is the firewall and the nose wheel comes out to negative seven inches. So this is actually negative 3,192. So now I gotta add back the unusable fuel because the fuel tanks are completely empty. The whole fuel system is actually dry. I'm gonna do six times 47 Point nine, and that will get me 287.4. And now it's just as easy as adding all these up. So 28,652 plus 29,232 plus, or actually let me do minus 3,192 plus 287.4. That equals 54,054. 979.4 and now for my total weight I'm going to do 4 494 plus 504 plus 456 plus 6 I get 1460 okay that's my total empty weight of 1460 and my CG is going to be my center of gravity, empty, is going to be 54,979.4, and you divide that by the total weight. So that divided by 1,460 equals a CG of 37, that was terrible, 37.7, it's 37.65, but I'm gonna call it 37.7 inches is my CG. So there you go. That's really all it takes as far as the math to figure this out. So this is not usually where I end my videos, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'd like to thank you all again for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, be easy.